Safety Toolbox Talk Number 236 Lifts and Hoists Hazards and Control Measures Lifts and hoists present several hazards that need to be managed carefully to ensure the safety of workers and anyone else in the vicinity. Here are some common hazards associated with lifts and hoists are as follow. Hazards, mechanical hazards, entanglement. Workers can get caught in moving parts such as ropes, chains, or cables. Pinching or crushing. Body parts or clothing can get caught between moving parts or between the load and fixed objects. Failure of components, mechanical failure of hoist mechanisms, brakes, or cables can lead to accidents. Electrical hazards, electric shock, contact with live electrical parts can occur during maintenance or if electrical insulation fails. Short circuits, faulty wiring, or damaged cables can lead to electrical fires or malfunction. Falling hazards, falling loads, improper securing of loads or structural failure can cause loads to fall. Falling workers, workers can fall from the platform or basket if adequate fall protection measures are not in place. Operational hazards, overloading, exceeding the weight capacity of the lift or hoist can cause structural failure or loss of control. Instability, uneven ground or improper setup can lead to instability during operation. Collision, moving lifts or hoists can collide with structures, other equipment, or personnel. Safety precautions, training and competency, ensure that operators are trained and certified to operate specific types of lifts and hoists. Provide training on recognizing hazards, safe operating procedures, and emergency protocols. Pre-use inspections, conduct thorough inspections of the lift or hoist before each use. Check for any signs of wear damage, or malfunctioning parts. Ensure that all safety devices, e.g. limit switches, emergency stop buttons, are functional. Personal protective equipment, PPE use appropriate PPE, such as hard hats, safety harnesses, gloves, and steel-toed boots. Ensure that workers using fall protection systems are properly trained and tied off when necessary. Safe operating procedures, follow manufacturer's instructions and guidelines for operating the lift or hoist. Use the lift or hoist only within its rated capacity. Maintain a safe distance from overhead obstructions and power lines. Environmental considerations, assess ground conditions and ensure that the surface is stable and capable of supporting the weight of the lift or hoist and its load. Consider weather conditions such as wind and rain that could affect stability and visibility. Regular maintenance, schedule regular maintenance and inspections by qualified technicians. Keep maintenance records and address any identified issues promptly to prevent accidents. Safe emergency preparedness, have emergency rescue procedures in place, including how to safely lower a platform or evacuate workers in case of malfunction or power failure. Maintain communication devices, e.g. two-way radios, for contacting help if needed. By identifying and mitigating these hazards through proper training, equipment maintenance, and adherence to safety protocols, the risks associated with lifts and hoists can be significantly reduced, ensuring a safer working environment for everyone involved. Thank you.